Tabby is an infinitely customizable cross-platform terminal application for local shells, serial, SSH and Telnet connections. In this video, we will show you how to install and use Tabby Terminal on Windows. Let's start. Step 1. Download and install Tabby. Download Tabby Terminal from the following website. Here we choose the Tabby x60 for exe file for Windows. Click on the package to install it. Open the downloaded package. Choose the installation options you want, then click Next. Set the location of installation, and then click on Install. When the installation is done, click on Finish. Step 2. Create Profile. Click the Tabby shortcut icon on the desktop to start Tabby Terminal. Click Settings, then the Profiles and Connections tab on the left menu, followed by the light blue New Profile button. Under the Profile and Connections tab, you can view the connection profiles that you save for quick connection either via SSH or serial. Step 3. Create an open SSH connection. Select the base profile to use a template. Here we choose SSH connection. Add the profile details, including the name, username, and password of the remote server. Here we choose the host as a profile name. Click the Save button to save the profile. Click the window icon to open the profile list. Select the SSH connection profile host created in the previous step and press enter on the keyboard to quickly open the SSH client window. Select accept and remember key or accept just this once. We are using Ubuntu 20.0 for, for Linux VPS hosted by VPS Mark. The initial information after SSH login is as follows. Step 4. Use SFTP transmission tool. This is to transfer files between your local computer and the remote server. Click the SFTP file icon on the upper right to open the remote server file browsing function. Click the file you want to download in the file list and select the download path and save it in the pop-up window. To upload to the remote server, simply drag the local file directly to a certain directory in the tabby SFTP file browsing window and the file will be uploaded there automatically. Step 5. Customize settings. Click on settings to customize the app. You can go to the application tab to check for software updates and change the language interface. To change the font and even the terminal background, hit the appearance tab. Customizing Tabby's appearance is available with various color scheme options. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.